Welcome to Pig Island, everyone. Let's see if this uh, mysterious place lives up to its reputation. And there we go. Pigs on an island. Who would have thought, eh? Fine range of day cruisers here today. Long tails, which are basically wooden boats with big long outboard kind of tractor motors attached to them. They whiz around all over the place. And I don't know if you can see, but bullseye to the frame now is um, Marley, our yacht. And this one here seems to be living its best life ever. Just wallowing around in some murky water. Not really my kind of thing guys, I'm more into sailing yachts, but it's a fine display of various vessels all anchored up here at Pig Island. In fact some of the long tails are really impressive, look at those two with all the coloured ribbons tied to them. Beautiful. I just love the diversity of Thailand. And over here, it looks like there's some sort of storyboard which tells the story of how Pig Island became known as Pig Island. Boy. 
Tuh, coba lah, Madam. So we've just visited the infamous Pig Island and it is pretty much that to be honest. It's um, an island where some pigs live with uh, a family from Thailand. There's not really much more to say about it but uh, it's obviously a tourist hotspot here. And the longboats and day trippers obviously ferry people across from the nearest island. We're kind of done with Pig Island for today and we're going to get the rib back to Mali and uh, head off to our next anchorage, which is where we'll be staying tonight. So stay with us and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you all again when we arrive safely at our next anchorage. Shower time! Woo! How is it? Good! <sighs> Come on in mate, in you go, your time! And breathe. How are we doing guys? Um, so we've just dropped anchor at um, a place called Koh Katan. Um, all being well this will be our home for tonight. It's a fairly shallow anchorage. We're in about three and a half meters of water and um, we have to make sure that we stay anchored outside of the coral reef which is about 200 meters that way. For the sailors, it's about 200 meters um, port side of your vessel. So we're fairly close, but we've got about 25 to 30 meters of chain out and I've just dropped another five. Now I know that we're not moving anywhere. We've got a good hold. It's a, it's a, it's a muddy, sandy bed here apparently. So uh, we seem to be holding a good position. As always, I've just taken a couple of way markers. Um, just to focus on but we're not going anywhere there's no wind in this little bay either so um, Emily and Dylan are just out on the paddleboard and in fact they're now snorkeling on the coral reef so happy days um, there's just one other vessel here today it's a catamaran uh, I think it's like I say it's a French flag um, they're staying the night as well so we've given them plenty of room they're anchored on the other side of the dredged channel, which is used by the long tail boats and also the fishermen. So uh, they would be technically, if you're about to shore, they are on the starboard side of the dredged channel and we're on the port side. So uh, we've given each other plenty of space. We had a quick chat with them. We came alongside and they gave us a few heads up. There is a mooring boy apparently here at Kokatan, but it's very, very close to the coral reef. And as we've never anchored here before, we thought, well, let's um, let's stick to what we know. We've got a good anchor and uh, plenty of chains. So, um, yeah, I think we're in for another good night. Nothing here, though, to be honest. Um, everything looks either closed or non-existent. Um, apparently, there is a restaurant. Uh, we haven't found it yet, but we haven't even started looking. So we're, we're just chilling out at the moment. So, uh, but yeah, a little slice of paradise. In fact, uh, why don't you stay with me and I'll uh, I'll take the camera up to the bow of the boat and I'll show you around. So come on, let's go.
So here you go, and welcome to Koh Katan, um, Thailand, the Gulf of Thailand. Just over there, coming into frame, bullseye now, you can see is the other vessel in the bay this evening. It's a catamaran, French flag. Just now you can start to see the shoreline and the beach. You probably can't make out, but there's a red flag and a black flag. One is port side, one is starboard side. They mark the dredged channel, which you have to use if you go any closer to the shore, whether that's uh, in your rib or on a paddleboard or whatever, on a long tower or fishing boat. You can't go either side of those flags because uh, it's coral reef. Ah, oh, look who I've spotted. Just over there in the distance. Let me get them bullseye to the frame. Just now, there's Emily and Dylan on the paddleboard. They're just snorkeling on the coral reef. I'm guessing the water depth over there will probably be about maybe two meters. Could even be as shallow as one meter. It's so peaceful here though, guys. So peaceful. Wow. What a place to spend the evening. You can hear the bird song as well. Let me shut up for a minute. What a place to be. I reckon it's almost beer o'clock as well. Out here, the local beer is called Chang. And you pay uh, in the supermarkets and the smaller bars, about 80 Thai baht. In the restaurants, you'll pay about 120 Thai baht. So less than a couple of quid, cheap as chips. And here come my lovelies on the paddleboard. In fact, uh, I'll just give my amazing son, Dylan, a little shout out at this moment in time, because actually Dylan helmed us into this anchorage today. A little bit of watchful eye from Skipper Mum, but Dylan helmed us in. Absolute sailor in the making as well. I'm a firm believer that your children will become what you expose them to. And I live by that. <laughs> 